Yo, welcome to Big Bugs Game, ladies and gentlemen. So today I want to take you through some of the uh, infantry and what I've got and my current build. So we've currently got a primary DPS of 177,000. We're running a toughness of 446,000 and some skill power of 26,000. What I want out of this build is toughness and skill power. As you can see, it's a bit of a Frankenstein build. I've got some uh, uh, Alpha Bridge backpack which is giving me a 1200 armor. This is a 268 score. My current gear score is 251. So I'm quite a character on here. I've been on here a little while now. Um, my body armor is a tactician's authority uh, vest. It's giving me a 1700 armor, which is a plus 122 after the calibration. And a skill mask, uh, which is the predator's mark mask which again is a 268 score and i've kind of gone with the best that i can i've gone with the mods from the dark zone uh, for safe house which is giving me a little bit of that extra dps that i needed because the dps i was only running 130,000, mm -hmm. but now with them mods it gives me 177,000. so we're doing quite well I've got the Reclaimer gloves on, uh, not the best armour in the world, again 268 gear score so top of the range for that, but really I could do with a little bit more but I don't want to drop my toughness, I want my toughness, I want to be self sufficient when I go around so, uh, right, the one thing in the build that's letting me down is the holster, now I've got three 214 gear score holsters and I've got one yellow 229 gear score uh, which is holding me up to be frank these three are not doing me any good whatsoever uh, the knee pads I'm currently running blind knee pads uh, not the best ones but I can't seem to get the others to give me more toughness as you can see it's quite a big drop on the toughness and my stamina, so as it stands right now, I've got 3,706 stamina. But if I put these uh, blind knee pads on, I've only got 2,851. And that's obviously a drop that I'm not prepared to take. So we'll see how we get on with that. So going into my guns, I've got a G36C uh, running meticulous. It's got an ad adapt uh, skill as well, or talent. But I haven't got the... How far away? Actually, I'm not that far away from unlocking that, so not too bad. I did re-roll for Meticulous purely to give me a talent that I can open, which uh, killing a target has a 24% chance of instant refill to the magazine, which is really helpful to me. I'm carrying a spare weapon, which is an LVOAC, uh, 182 score. It's got Vicious, Accurate, and Predatory three really really good talents that i personally really like especially the accurate one 46 percent uh, accuracy but that is purely a backup weapon as you can see um it's not got all the uh the uh what's it the mods on it still got two mod slots open sniper rifle i'm just running a 38k damage sockham m1a with 61,000 DPS plus the 36,000 that I added. It is a drop, but at the moment it's the best we can do. So I'm quite happy with that uh, for the pure fact that when I'm using, I run a smart cover, which gives me more crit hit. And I'll show you actually. Let's go down to the gun range. Uh, where's the gun range? I think it's, yeah, it's here. So, if you look in the game range, we'll hit some shots. So I'm getting 19,800 and occasionally getting 33,779. If I hit my smart cover, put my bag out, now when I hit the headshots, I'm getting 12,000 rather than the nine 
and trying to get a crit hit. See, 23, 20, 40. So I'm getting a lot more once the smart cover's out. As you can see there. So always use your smart cover. Always use the... Uh, it's the ammo bag with the health generation on it as well. And the same when you hit your specialty. It gives you so much more. Crit hit. Get on this guys. You can't really go wrong with this. And that's it. So that's all I wanted to show you today. Just where we're at on our build. And uh, maybe we'll talk about abilities etc next time. Look after yourself. Take care. Peace.